Ladies and gentlemen, your first inductees of the night, Cowboy Junkies. Woo! That's right! Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Andy. Thanks. <laughs> Didn't know where you went. <laughs> All right. They say I have to make a speech now. I'd rather sing. <laughs> Up until yesterday, I had the classic thank you to the Academy speech already, the one that I've been practicing in the mirror since I was 14. Of course, in my practicing, I was holding the Oscar. <laughs> but I'm no longer 14. And now that this big day has arrived, um, I want to talk about something else other than the classic thank you speech. I want to talk about something that's important to me. And that's how, in our industry, it just seems that women are so poorly represented. And the change for this speech came about because I had a conversation with my son, who's 16. He came home the other day, and he uh, told me that in history they were studying the suffragette women and how they went to prison, and they were trying to get the vote. And he said, you know, it just sounds really insane, Mom. Why didn't the men just give them the vote? <laughs> and so I tried to explain, you know, that in those days they thought women weren't too intelligent. <laughs> and that these men didn't want to give up their power and their control and that they were afraid of change. And as I talked, I thought, oh, God, this is so crazy. So I turned to my son and I said, look, think of it this way. In those days, the world was one big boys' club and the girls were not allowed. And as I said that to him, I began to think, this is really nuts. And really, although a lot has changed, a lot hasn't. So I thought, OK, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this speech. <laughs> it got me thinking that I have spent three decades in this business. Most of it, I've been on the road. And I can count on my fingers the number of women who I have seen working as lighting, sound, monitor techs, or guitar, or drum techs, loaders, riggers, drivers, booking agents or promoters, tour production and band members, band managers, not to mention the senior staff of record labels. Most of them, men. To me, there's something wrong. I know we would all like to think that a boys club does not exist in our industry. But just look around you. Even tonight, there are 10 inductees and one woman. <laughs> <laughs> and by my count, after tonight, there will be around 100 men and 10 women in the Hall of Fame. That's not right. I know that there are many men and women in our industry who struggle every day to create change, and to you, I give you my respect and my support. But there are also many women and men who think that with time, things will become equal and all will be well eventually. And perhaps they're right. But what I say to that is if you are thinking in this way, that you have to remember as we wait, the next generation of talented and creative women will be asked or allowed to join our industry by going through the side door. The way that women have entered the world of men for centuries, and it's just wrong. So all I ask is that you people who are here who are so powerful, you lead our industry to think about it and that somehow we have to bring in more women, allow our daughters to know that if they want to be riggers, sound engineers, lighting, techs, 
They can do it, and they can join us on the road. Now I know, right now, the boys are panicking and thinking that Marg's gone rogue, and when will she stop? <laughs> What's going on? So, I'm gonna end this speech by saying thank you. The boys and I realize that, as a band, it cannot, you cannot exist or find any kind of success if you're working in a void. And over the years, we've come across many wonderful people who have uh, who have brought a genuine value and talent into our world. And without them, we would not be here. People like Mr. Jeff Bird, John Farnsworth. <laughs> to all of you, we owe such a great deal of thanks. Playing music is what we do. It feeds our souls. We would do it if you weren't listening, or if you are listening, we just do it. <laughs> But to have it acknowledged that you have been listening is the greatest gift you could have given us. So we thank you very, very much. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>